Hello, how's it going today? So here we've got the next in my review list, which is the King of Braves Galgagar Super Robot Shigokin. So this was actually the first Galgagar figure I had purchased way back in like 2015 or so. And it was my first Super Robot Shigokin figure. And I love it so much to this day. But here's the box. It's a very, very cool box. Braves Galgagar Super Robot Shigokin. Top of the box, side of the box, back of the box has got a bunch of different action poses. That side, bottom. It's a really cool box. Really cool box. I like it a lot. But that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see our boy Gao Geiger, who has a crap load of accessories, which we're going to talk about in a bit, but I want to talk about the actual figure. So Gal Gygar was, I think I said this in my last video, the last of the Brave series, which was kind of like Japan's alternate version of Transformers, because Transformers was declining in popularity, so they kind of took her partner with Sunrise and made their own series. That's kind of, that's why Bandai now owns all the Brave stuff, because Sunrise is owned by Bandai, to my knowledge. So now Bandai is making all the Brave stuff, not Takara, but that's neither here nor there. This is, to this day... Aside from Optimus Prime, my favorite giant robot. In terms of design, probably my favorite giant robot. I love Gal Gygar's design so much. All three of the swarms, Gal Gygar, Gal Fygar, Genesic Gal Gygar, I think they all look really awesome. But this is the only one I own, so. He looks straight out of the anime. His proportions are borderline perfect now the only downside to this figure is that he can't transform other than that there are no i have zero issue actually not to lie my this was a major issue on all of them that his legs were floppy when you're posing him it is a non-issue whatsoever like he stands up straight just fine but if you pick him up yeah but if you're just posing him like they'll hold a pose just fine so you don't have to worry about that, but speaking of posability, he has a lot. Super Robot Shigogan has, has the most articulation I've ever seen on a figure in my life. So his head, complete 360. Arms, they're on a ball joint. Don't worry, he's not broken. But full 360 is just really tight ball joints, and there's a lot going on. In terms of like the mane and the wings and stuff. But he can do a full 360 in both arms. His bicep goes up all the way there. Double jointed elbows. Wrist completely turns. He's got an ab crunch. He definitely has an ab crunch. Waist rotation. The wings can move. I don't think they ever actually do that in the show, but... They could do it on this toy. <laughs> Legs can go forward. They can go back. He's got a really big knee joint. A really big knee joint. I don't know if it's double jointed. But it's big. It's a really big knee joint. And he's got an ankle rocker. That can go any which way. Yeah, so his posability is insane. Any pose you can think of... He could probably do it. It's just, it's really awesome. Now, accessory-wise, he has a bunch. So we're going to start with the dividing driver, which is his space warping super drill thing. Super drill, super screwdriver thing. And to work that, you take his hand off. There's a cube spot right there. And this just plugs right in. To do on camera, it should be. That's supposed to come off. Don't worry, it did not break it. We had a dividing driver, actually looks awesome like super awesome. It's executed really well for this figure. He, he retains all the same articulation with the dividing driver, and he can hold it up just fine, doesn't weigh him down or anything. He has a bunch of alternate hands. 
So he's got the this kind of hand. He's got two of these hands. He's got two of these hands. One hand like this. And then this. So to swap out the hands, it's the same way as with earlier. You just pop the hand off and plug the new one on. It's a little tight. Actually tighter than I thought it remembered being. Wow. That arm does come off. I'll explain why. Um, but yeah, you could do that. And if you have both of these hands and you rotate his hands above him, he can actually hold the included Zonder core. When you don't suck like I do, but you, you, you can get him to hold it. <sighs> I'm just not good at it apparently, but you can you can get him to do it. But the Zonder core looks incredible. Oh boy, so. What did I drop? Anywho, now that I'm knocking everything over being a klutz, let's just go ahead and get his normal hand back on. Or actually, no, 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 not yet, yet, not yet. Well, we got this hand off. He can actually accommodate an effect piece with this hand. So you put this piece on there, put this piece on there, then you put that on, and he's doing his broken magnum attack, which is awesome. And now with this hand, if you take this included hand piece, put it in here, oh my god, user error, user error. And you plug it on. Just take the whole arm off. I am futzing about with this review. Everything is coming off. But he can do. Protect shade also, which is awesome. You know, I love how much I'm praising this figure, but it is falling apart on me like nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> but no, I, I really do like. I love the figure a lot. Like that—that's not a joke. I don't know why it's falling apart on me, but so yeah, you could do all that would be enough for the price of admission but we've still got more so he's got a guy gar face which i'm not going to change out he's got an extra head crest in case the one in case the one you have on him breaks and then the rest of his pieces all accommodate one thing 
so to do that we're going to take these out put these in so now he's got open air vents place these pieces with those and we got to get his arms in there like this all right, so we're going to take both the hands off. Then we replace both hands with this double fist accessory. And you've got his signature hell and heaven going on. Gebu Girugan Golgafo! Bam! He can totally pull off hell and heaven, and it looks awesome. It's just so cool. <laughs> Every Gal Gar figure nowadays puts that into it. Because that's just such a signature Gal Gar thing. <laughs> And I've got to say, despite the way this review has turned out, which I didn't mean for it to, me fumbling about, I really, really do love this figure. Like, from the bottom of my heart, this is one of my favorites. At least, especially in terms of my non-transforming figures, this is top of the line for me. Like, it is absolutely incredible if you're a gal guy gar fan you really should invest in this especially since this exists the key of victory set one which is the mark hand and the gold neon hammer this is essential for gal guy gar because it gives him his ultimate weapon and if you put the boxes like this So, to prep him, you're going to pull his hand off and pull his arm off. There's a tab right here on the wing. And then this is going to go in there. Actually, I actually have a story about that. <laughs> but I'll explain that in a second. So, then you can hammer connect with this thing. Bam. Which wouldn't be anything too impressive on its own, to be honest. It's just, oh, I got a big fist. So what you do is you take this hand off. Take this hand. Put this in said hand. Reconnect that. Plug that into the bottom of said thing and now we've got the goldion hammer hell yeah this is fantastic this is such a good display gal Gygar with his goldion hammer just ready to kill things oh bam and you can also take a hook thing. You can take this piece, put the Zonder core in there, and it's like, and then you can put it in his hand with an extra holdy hand that he has. And it's like he's holding the Zonder core, which is awesome. Yeah, I love this. I love this set so much. I can't think of another figure, non-transforming figure anyway, that I just adore as much as this. 
Oh, and apparently you could put this piece on there too. I just, I don't know what that's for, honestly. But you could do it. Probably to accommodate a stand of some kind. I don't know. But that's neither here nor there. But the Zonder Core comes with a couple extra hands. And, um, or the Zonder Core, the Goldion Hammer comes with a couple extra hands, a couple extra pieces. Nothing really crazy to go over. But that's it for this set. Um, I really like it, it's one of my favorites. And I hope you guys enjoy it too if you decide to pick this figure up. But that's it for this review. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Take care.